All right, Fit Lifers, Drew Canoli. Remember, we're in this together. I got an exciting video. I'm actually gonna be breaking down the J Cordage Power Grind Pro. Okay, I'm gonna show you the ins and the outs, some of the things that you can do with this juicer that no other juicer has. And the reason for this is I get emails all the time from people asking, Drew, what juicer should I get? And I like a lot of different juicers. I mean, you've probably seen my videos where I've used the, you know, different juicers that are on the market today, and there's reasons why I like each one. Aggregated together, this is the one that I always come back to. And I'm gonna show you why, right here, right now. So let's get into this. All right, so I know how tough it can be to pick a good juicer at first, whether you're just starting out or you've been on your juicing journey for a while and you wanna upgrade juicers. It can be a tricky conversation. You know, what should you get? Should you get the masticating, the centrifugal, the press? You don't really know what to do. So hopefully by the end of this video, we can put a lot of those questions at peace and you can, you'll be able to move forward with a decision that works for you. Let me show you why I absolutely love this juicer right here. So you open it up by flipping this forward exactly like this. It's got this little plunger which you, you know, move down. If you have a juicer you understand that you put the veggies in here. It comes down but here's the really, really cool thing about this. It actually has a metal part right here that's called the grinder. Right now, no other juicer like this. There's no other juicer like this. So it's 0.3 millimeters off of this basket that I'm gonna take off and I'm gonna show you. This is where all the magic happens. So the cucumbers, the leafy green vegetables, they come down on this thing and the grinder holds it right on top of this. So you get the absolute most amount of juice that you can with this thing. Now the reason I like it is because if I'm anything like you, I spend a lot of money on organic vegetables to make this juice that I want to be healthy with, right? So you wanna get the most out of your vegetables. You don't wanna be juicing it at 1200 to 1500 watts and wasting a lot of the enzymes that you pay good money for. So the basket sits on here just like this, really easy to assemble. There's juicers out there that have like 15 different parts to it. it. Takes you 20 minutes to put the thing together and it takes you 45 minutes to clean the thing. You don't wanna be doing that. So the pulp goes in the back right here, just easy slides off just like that. And this whole thing comes together in about two minutes. One of the biggest things people say is, Drew, you know, I don't have time to juice. It takes a long time. It takes a long time to clean this thing. Well, as you can see, there's only a few parts to this and it's really, really easy. You get a little scrub brush, you clean this thing out real quick, you clean this juicer in about a minute. So there's really no excuse for not juicing and it's dishwasher safe. So this is my favorite part. We get the juice. Now notice how quiet this juicer is compared to a lot of the other juicers that are out there. That's important. So start with a little cucumber. Now one thing I want you to notice is that the blade actually spins around a lot slower. It's 350 watts. Now there's a lot of juicers out there that are over a thousand watts, but the reason it spins slow is because it's a slow juicer. When it's slow, you're getting the maximum amount of nutrients out of the actual vegetables. Now one thing about this juicer is you don't just wanna jam stuff in here because it's got that grinding mechanism and if you shove it in there too quick, sometimes the juicer will stop because it's only 350 watts, right? So you clean off the bottom real quick and start the thing back up and it works perfectly. But a lot of people are thrown off by that. So at first I was like, well, why isn't this shredding stuff up like that other juicer I have that's 1200 watts? Well, it's because it's getting a lot more juice out of it. Look, at, we've only juiced one cucumber. We have 300 millimeters. Most juicers would only have half that yield. So if you want to get the most out of your vegetables, you want that grinding mechanism in there as well. Now one of the things that I noticed about a lot of the other juicers that I would use is that 
it's hard to get a lot of juice out of leafy greens unless you have a twin gear juicer or a prep. So what I love about this as well, and, and I know that the greens have the most nutrients out of anything else that you can juice, is that this actually gets quite a bit out of these greens too because of that grinding mechanism. So let's put these greens in. All right, so here's a ninja trick with greens. You always want to add something that has a base afterwards. When I say base, I mean it's made with more water, right? So celery, cucumbers, apples, different things like that after the greens is going to allow the greens to push through and then you're going to get the most nutrient value out of it. We're going to add a little beet here. Beets are one of my favorite things to juice and they've actually done a study on this. Uh, the Olympics, athletes, a lot of Olympians are using beet juice because it actually puts more oxygen in their blood allowing them to have a higher performance level. A lot of research has been done on this recently. So if you're looking to increase your performance in the gym or whatever you work out, your triathlon, whatever it may be, start drinking some beet juice. Oh my god, look at how perfect this is. The mirroring of the flavors in here. We put a little bit of lemon in there as well. Turmeric, celery, kale, cucumber, all types of goodness put in this juice. Mmm, 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 mmm. And the beet actually really sets it off as well. So a lot of people love dessert. Chocolate brownies, pastries, all these things, all these decadent little things that they have after their dinner. Well, when I want dessert, this is kind of what I do right here. It's a ninja trick, okay? I'm gonna take a little bit of apple, I'm gonna mix it in my almond milk, so it's gonna give it that natural sweet flavor, tastes like a dessert. We're gonna add just a little bit of cinnamon, and it will be one of the best things you've ever put on those taste buds of yours. So let's rock this out. Kick this baby on, drop these in here. We want to put a little bit of water in here as well. Look at that. And we have milk. How good does that look? So there you have it. That is the J Cordage Power Grind Pro. I absolutely love it. It's multi-functional, there's a lot of different things that you can do with it. It's easy to clean, it looks sexy on your countertop, and it's something that I have come back to time and time again. So if you're looking for a new ju juicer, make a decision. You know, maybe you should invest a little bit more in your health, because if you pay for your health now, you don't have to pay for your sickness later. One of the best things that you can invest in is yourself. So I'm Drew Canoli. This is another episode of FitLife.TV. If you have any questions or comments in regards to this particular juicer or any other juicer that you could be using, leave it below and I'll make sure that I personally reach out to you and address your questions on YouTube. So leave your question below. Remember, we're in this together. Until next time.